Hi friends, welcome back to Maths Tale. Today we are working on completing the square. We are going to solve this problem in completing the square. This quadratic equation we are um, solving completing the square, basically. So that's very easy. First thing what you have to do is the middle number, you have to half it. So just write x minus half of the middle number, which is 3 close the bracket, square it basically. So first thing what I did, I uh, write x, whatever sign is here, minus, and square, half the middle number and square the bracket. Then after that, put minus, always put the minus, doesn't matter if it's a plus or minus, always put minus here. And square this number. And bring down this 4 here, plus 4. That's it now. Just finish it up basically. So x minus 3 whole square minus 3 square, not minus 3 square, just 3 square, which is 9 plus 4 and x minus 3 whole square minus 5. That's it. That's your completing the square. So the coordinate what we got with that is if this is minus 3, it will be just 3 comma minus 5. Always opposite sign with that. That's the completing the square. Solving quadratic equation with the completing the square. I'll do one more problem for you uh, with the number in front of x square. Like for example, if there's a question x square plus 9x minus 6. <laughs> If there is a number in front of x square, always take it common or divide all of them by that number. So basically, if, if I am taking it common, it will become minus 2. So basically, I divided all three numbers with this 3. Uh, factorize it, took it common. Always make sure that there is nothing in front of x square. x square there shouldn't be anything in front of that before you square, start the completing the square. Then after that, run your completing the square normal process, which is x plus x plus half of the middle number, which is 1.5 whole square. I repeat, half of the middle number. First thing, there shouldn't be anything in front of x square, then half of the middle number then always minus irrespective of if you have plus or minus here always minus then square this number which is that and minus two and there should be bracket three after that just complete the problem x plus 1.5 square square of 1.5 is 2.25 you can use a calculator if you're not sure you can multiply minus 2 bracket the 3 remains outside we are doing everything inside the bracket then the end minus complete that which is 4.25 3 outside the last step will be Multiply 3 with both. The first, just write 3 here outside the bracket. Minus 4.25 times 3. Which is 12.5. That's it. That's the completing the square. If there is a number in front of x square. And if there is, if there is no number, then just follow the normal process. If there is a number, just divide all of them with that number and follow the normal process and multiply at the end. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe it. We'll get back to you with the new videos. Thank you for watching.